review today for my studio at RISD in interior architecture called Complications in Cool House. This is a six-week project. It involves a website called coolhunting.com, and the idea is to, take, to create a physical space that extends the brand of cool hunting. I received an email from Jeffrey Katt explaining that one of the assignments that he gave his students was to create the physical store version of cool hunting. I, I was, you know, I kind of thought it was a joke. <laughs> I was really excited and flattered about it and very curious to see what the students were going to come up with. I've been following the site and I was interested in it and it seemed like a good way not only to introduce the students to the site and ways of finding interesting product that's out in the world, but also they could learn about how to use design blogs, a little bit more about how to use the internet, how to, um, you know, sort of facilitate the kind of design they're doing with slightly more up-to-date techniques. Design blogs or sites like Cool Hunting are useful for designers and students and all different kinds of creative professionals because they're an accumulated database of references. The studio is a retail studio. I've been teaching retail studio for the past five or six years. It's graduating undergraduate students and uh, some graduate students um, and some architecture students. Jeffrey invited a few people from the design community to come critique the final projects. That's the only, like why did you choose that location, why? The building actually is a 2,400 square foot building, uh, a, a fairly nice facade. It is uh, just two blocks down the street from the design studio, so it seemed like a great way for students to be able to measure the building, to really understand the, the physicalness of the building and what the context really was. Pretty much everyone had some digital presentation and some physical presentation, so some people put up mood boards and slides, 3D renderings, animations, some presented video, and many had physical models of, of their concepts. And going up the next level to the third floor. Uh, this is going to be like a music station. We have a live, live DJ that constantly like plays the music all around. And this is this image over here. So the DJ would be in the counter in the back. I wanted the facade to become like an interface where you can really understand the activities of the space better. This is the third floor. Um, that's the second floor that you saw. As you go up the stairs, as I talked about, this is the performance and the gallery space. Going up is a cafe. Um, as you can see in the model, I wanted this place, uh, the, the, this cool hunting place to be not like a orthodox or tradition, traditional retail store where you go there and you get sick of it, you know what you're going to see again. I wanted to make people to come back here for the sake of the experience and the, the fact that it's constantly changing every day. It was really nice to get back into school and see students thinking about projects without some of the constraints that we get to deal with in the real world like time and budget and I'm really glad that Jeffrey came up with such an interesting assignment for his students because I think that it was a good opportunity for them to learn a lot about translating a brand from a digital space to a physical space. Mm -hmm.